all right then so now what we are going to do is to we are going to create the header something like this so let's go ahead and start creating the header so inside this instead of displaying something like this what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this class name i'm going to fix the height as 20 something like this and on the medium devices onwards um okay let's make it responsive later so i'm going to change this to fix it fix it height and insert y it's going to be zero okay which means uh then width of course it's going to be full and z it always should be 50 so say this changes this is how it's looking right now because the header has been fixed so the sidebar and everything will be on the top of it now inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new component for this so let's go ahead and create a new component so uh i'm going to name that component as nav bar so let's create a new nav bar component which is going to be the specific component and it's been only used inside the dashboard in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder inside the dashboard called underscore components so the reason why i'm adding the underscore before it's because it will not consider it as a route that's the reason okay so components inside this i'm going to say nav bar dot tsx and here i'm just going to say rafc and i'm going to change this to nav bar okay save it and let's import that nav bar right over here and it's coming from dot slash adds component nav bar because the reason why it's not using add sign because it is not coming from the root component folder that's the reason it is not showing that add sign so say this changes now you should be able to see the nav bar text over there but it's been overlapping so to avoid that what we can do is so let's write these styles for this as class name padding of course it's going to be four and now we should be able to see some padding over there then border and uh, we need the border bottom so let's add the border bottom alone border bottom height of course it's going to take the complete height of that header which we fixed on that header tag and flex item center and of course it's going to have the bg white color and shadow it should have um small shadow so now you should be able to see that shadow over here so the reason why we don't able to see the content and everything because it is now right behind the header so don't worry about that we will fix that later now you should be able to see the header just like the same way what we do have over here okay so now inside this nav bar what are the things that we need to do i need to bring the if you switch back over here you should be able to see we're having this um the uh, toggle icon where i can to bring this the mobile responsive menu and if it is coming back over here you should be able to see we're having this the route over here so basically what you need to do is we need to write this as a completely responsive so now what i need to do is i need to bring two important thing one is the mobile routes and two that is the sidebar routes which means which is going to be the same the sidebar routes and that is also the same thing which is going to be displayed when you are making it responsive right that's the two important thing that we need to create so let's create the navbar routes first so let's say navbar routes something like this navbar route say and now what we need to do is we need to create the new component for this navbar route so let's go ahead and create the new nav navbar routes so let's create a new component over here called navbar hyphen routes dot tsx and this is going to be the uh, client component because by default everything in the next js over here it's a server side component you should change this to client side in order to do that you just need to say use client okay then what i'm going to do i'm just going to say rafc and i'm going to change this to navbar routes something like this and i don't need this import statement let's delete that okay so inside here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring all those uh uh first we need to bring this this profile actions over here so let's go ahead and do that one so what we need to do is um let's wrap this into react code fragments and let me create as a div and here i'm just going to say class flex and of course gap x is going to be two and margin left auto enter okay 
So if you check it out over here, you can see if you are in that specific route, if I click this admin, you should be able to see now you are inside the admin slash job. If you are in that specific route, you should be able to see it's showing as exit button. If you're not in that route, it is going to show you the admin mode, enable the admin mode, right? So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to fetch certain things. So before that, let's bring that, uh, the user button over here okay so let's go ahead and bring that user profile button so what we need to do is first I need to bring the user button and after sign out URL it's need to push the user to the home route now you should be able to see let's bring this nav routes over here and now you should be able to see that over there you can see that that icon over there Okay, so we have ourselves the user profile button over there. And now all we have to do is to start customizing to bring this over here. So in order to get that, so we need to access the path name first to get that. So let's create a new variable called path name and we are going to use the use path name provided by the next navigation. You can see, make sure that is being imported from the next navigation to get the path name. So first I need to figure it out whether the user is in the admin page or not, right? So, so const uh, is admin page equals to, if the path name, sorry, not path, if the path name, if the path name starts with slash admin if the path name starts with slash admin then he is in the admin page right so uh if the user is in the admin page then what we need to do we need to display that uh button something like that like admin mode or something like that okay if the user is in the admin page we need to display exit button if the user is not in the admin page we need to display the button as admin mode so let's go here and right after here what i'm going to do is i'm gonna check check it out so um mm, mm, mm. okay so if is admin page and that is and then we need to import one more page that is going to be the jobs that's the players page if the user is in the is player page which means the client page if the user either in the admin page or is player page player page what we need to do we need to render a separate a fragments okay so inside here what we are going to do is i'm going to bring instead of this react fragment i'm going to bring the link tag which is from the next link and which is going to have the hachari ef which is going to be the home route okay that is the home route and here which is going to be the button, bring the button. Inside this button, what we are going to do, I'm just going to have this icon called exit because that's a user already in that specific page. So user needs to exit from that specific page. So exit, which is being log out icon from the Lucid React, which has already been inserted by the chat in itself. And I'm gonna say exit. And for this button, what I'm going to create for this button, I'm going to say the variant, which is going to be the outline variant, because that is how the design it should looks like. Then the size of this button is going to be the small button. Okay. And the class name, of course, it's going to be border um, purple 700. That's how the border purple it should like and the 20% of that's color okay say this changes now you will not able to see because user is not over there in that specific page if the user is not in that page then the user needs to be pushed back to the to bad the user needs to be pushed back to the admin slash jobs page slash because that's the place where the user needs to be user needs to Able, user, user able to see that uh, page immediately, right? So the jobs, whatever the user being successfully created by himself previously. And here we need to change this to admin mode. All right, now we should be able to see this over here. Now, if I click this, 
you will get 404 because we don't have this admin page and all those things admin jobs and all those things we don't have that page okay so you it will make sense why when you are when we are creating those specific pages and everything now this is how uh this uh navbar routes it's going to be so far over here you can see now if i click this that will take the user to the admin slash jobs where the user able to see this complete information and the sidebars also it's been customizing over here right so let's get back to the business over here now all we have to do is to bring the sidebars now we have the sidebar so let's get back over here and let's bring this mobile routes now so in order to bring that mobile sidebar okay so what we need to do is over here i'm going to create a new component called mobile side bar okay so this is the mobile side bar that we are going to um bring it okay so let's hide it for the time being now mm, okay so bring in before bringing that mobile sidebar we need to in the layout this is the place where we need to bring our main sidebar so let's go ahead and start writing the sidebar first so class name which is going to be hidden by default it's need to be hidden but on the medium devices it should be displayed so flex height full width of course it's going to be the 56 so i'm going to fix the width as 56 so what we are trying to do over here is by default the sidebar will always be hidden once it reaches the medium device it will start displaying which means this content needs to be hidden when you are in the mobile screen and that's the place where your mobile screen route mobile sidebar will kind of takes the place okay so first we need to write this then we need to write that so fix the width this then flex column and it's going to be fixed position and inset y of course it's going to be zero which means it's need to be pinned to the top and bottom that's the reason okay and it should always be top of the layer z index 50 so save this changes and now you should be able to see this and inside here we are going to change this as a component we don't have that sidebar component yet so first what we need to do we need to create that sidebar component so let's get back over here and inside here i'm gonna create a new sidebar sidebar dot tsx and inside this one i'm just going to say sfc side or let's keep it as rafc side bar and let's import this inside straight away from where from the dot slash sidebar now you should be able to see the sidebar and this sidebar needs to be class name height of course it's need to be full and then border i need the border right side border r border right side and flex flex column and overflow y should be automatic and bg of course it should be white so save these changes now you should be able to see that we do have some a line over here like the exact same structure which we got and inside here first i need to bring the logo so div let's say class padding six and we need to bring the logo over here logo okay okay so now in order to bring the logo so i already do have the link in the description below so where you can download all the images which we are which i'm using right now so i'm going to copy that image folder and i'm going to bring it right away over inside the public folder which we do have which is having the 404 page and the portal banner and the logo and this icon for our footer and this is the logo which we are using so i'm going to load this logo straight away over here so to load the logo what we need we need to have the a separate component to load the logo so i'm going to create a new component over here called logo.tsx and i'm going to change this to rafc and i'm going to change this to logo all right so here now let's change this text to logo okay so let's get back over here instead of this what i'm going to do i'm going to bring the logo i'm going to load it over here okay so now we have our logo let's save this this is both the same only okay now in this logo what i'm going to do is i'm just going to return an image so basically it's going to be an image which is coming from next image slash and this is going to have the height as 
60 and width also i'm going to keep it as 60 then alternative text it's going to be the logo and the main source of this is going to be slash img folder from the public it's going to access the image folder inside that i do have this logo.png file save this and now you should be able to see the logo image over there so now we should have this exact logo image right away over there so now we have that logo now what we have to do we have to bring the sidebar routes we already have the sidebar and right after here we need to bring that sidebar routes so we need to say sidebar routes okay so let's create a div and let's say class name and flex flex column and width Full. we can directly write the routes over here but i'm going to keep it as a component because if you notice over here this is the same route which is going to be displayed over here so that's the reason we are going to create it as a component so what i'm going to do is we're going to create sidebar routes as a component so uh, let's go ahead and create that sidebar routes as a component so let's get back over here and let me create a new file over here sidebar hyphen routes.tsx enter and this is going to be the use client and right right after that here now what i need to do i need to recreate the components and everything so let's create the components so here um rafc let's say sidebar routes okay so this is not necessary save this changes and let's bring it over here save it and now you should be able to see the sidebar routes over there okay so let's go ahead and start customizing the sidebar routes and that's what we are going to do next